Hello friends. In this you will learn about uniform cost search. So let first know why you will use uniform cost search. In this there is no heuristic function and here to get optimum value between source and goal. Okay. So now let's solve this example. So you have to maintain here to list open list here close list I will write over here and here I will write open list all right close list and open is here to maintain these two so first you have to start from 1 and you have to reach to 12 so here first so this will be included over here 1 raised to 0 sorry 1 raised to 0 okay so now this is open so you can from 1 you can move to 5 or 2 so there are two ways so you have to write those in open list so 2 raised to 2 raised to 9 sorry distance from 1 to 2 is 2 5 1 okay so as you have moved from 1 you have to this include this in close list all right so this is basically simple so now from these two which one is minimum distance one so we will move from five to another node so this will be nine, nine. calculate one plus one so from one to nine is one plus one two as you have moved from five so this you have to mention over here in close list okay now these two have same value so you can move from two because this was first so now let's move from two to another values so three and six so three value is two plus one three and six two plus three five and nine over here so include two over here now which one is minimum from three five and two two so we'll start from nine again we'll do from nine so from nine where you can go 10 so this will be equal to 3 5 10 means 1 1 and 8 all right so include 9 over here now which one is minimum from 3 5 and 10 so from 3 you can go to 4 only so 4 2 plus 1 plus 2 means 3 plus 2 5 6 5 and 10 10 so include this over here now as 6 came before first so start from 6 so from 6 you can move to 5 10 and 7 so you have to move towards goal state and you can also you have you have to also write 5 sorry you don't have to write 5 because it is already in a closed list so five, you don't have to move towards 5 now just 7 and 10 so 6 include 6 over here from 6 you can move towards 7 and from 6 you can move towards 10 so as you can move from 6 to 10 its value will become 9 but the before value of 10 is raised 10 so you have to write the minimum value okay and 4 5 done till over here 
Did you understood? Okay. Now, which one is minimum from this? 4, 5, 1. So now let's move on from 4 to 8. Seven, six, four to eight means is two, six. Include this in close list. Maintain this order because at last you need to backtrack and find the minimum distance. So this will be helpful. Alright, now from 6, 9 and 6, 7 most came before, so right over here 7, from 7 you can move towards 11, so 16, turn this to 9, so 7 include over here, now from 8 okay all right now you have to move from 8 to there is only one path 15 so this will be 11 16 10 9 finally you came to goal state with 21 15 plus 6 21 okay Now you have to move from 10. So from 10 you can move towards 11 which is 3. So this will be 12 but you have to write minimum. So in place of this you will write 12 and include 8 over here first and 10. 21 all right now from this 11 you can move towards 12 okay so this will be 13 but you have to write the minimum value so from 21 and 13 which one is minimum 13 is minimum so this include this in a close list and finally you got the final answer as 13 so this will be achieved a goal still 13 value so now you have to backtrack this one is simple from 12 how did you got this minimum value with the help of 11 so from 12 you will move towards 11 first okay now just check with the help of which value 11 got change 11 got change with the 10 so you have to move towards 10 okay now move on to 10 so from where the 10 value was changed with the help of 6 so move towards 6 all right now go to 6 okay so 6 came with the help of 2 so from 2 to 6 and this one will be one. so this was a basic backtrack all right so now our path will be from 1 to 6 10 11 and 12 this one is our path to reach from 1 to 12 Cost will be equal to 13. Thank you.